Okay, this video is for the people who feel comfortable with the distributed property. Um, and something that's going to help you next year, it's called multiplying binomials. And it leads into my favorite thing ever in math, which is called FOIL. Um, I thought some of you might know distributed property well, and I kind of wanted to challenge you a little bit more than usual. So, what we have here is we've got, these are binomials. Um, the reason they're binomials is because they're made up of two terms that are different. It's called a binomial. Um, and you're going to use the software. Um, you're going to use the internet software. Um, as you can see, I've kind of got it highlighted down there. Um, you're going to be using that. And we're going to do it together. All right, let's go over. This is an x squared. All right, these are units. These are your x's. These are your x squared. That's positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. You want to show the grid, okay? Because you, it's kind of like a multiplication table that you did as a kid, okay? Um, it'd be li like where you listed 1 through 10, 1 through 10 up here, 1 times 1 is 1. It, it's kind of the same concept. But if we look back, we're doing 2x minus 3. So, Whatever's in the first parentheses goes vertically. So we need two x's. And to do minus three, you need three negatives. Alright, and the other one's a negative x plus two. So whatever's in the second parentheses goes up here. For a negative x, we use black. And then we need two positives. I had to kind of algebra teacher to make us draw it every time. Okay, now, the goal here is whatever, and usually I put a multiply, multiply on sign there just so you know it's multiplication. Now, what we have to do is take everything on this vertical column, and we have to multiply by everything on that column. So, a 1x times negative x, excuse me, is a negative x. Or excuse me, what am I doing? Okay, an x times a negative x is a negative x squared. You can see how kind of like they line up. My fault. An x times a x times one is a one x. Sorry. X times one is a one x. And now we're going to multiply another x by both of those again, so it's going to be the exact same thing you have there. Alright, now we got to do negative 1 times negative x, which turns into a positive x. And negative 1 times 1, negative 1. Negative 1 times 1, negative 1. Okay, now we're going to have negative 1 times all those again. So we're going to have these, this again three times. So we can go ahead and bring it over. So at the end, whatever's on the inside is our answer. We got two x two negative x squared. So if we go to this Seven 
and we got six negatives. So we'll put neg we'll put minus six at the end or negative six. And if you talk about this in reverse, it's called a quadratic equation. We'll deal with those next year. Okay, I got another example I'd like to do with you. Then let's do negative two x minus two. And this I'm just doing another one to show you how to use the software. So now go to your software. Alright, when I hit reset. Show grid. Okay. I'd like you to drag over whatever you think you whatever you think you need for two x plus two the first parentheses. You can pause it and do it yourself. Again, it's two x plus two. Okay, now, put up here what you think would have to go on the vertical, or on the horizontal line. Oops. Okay, I'll do it for you. Here, 2x. Minus 2. We've got a 1x times a negative x. So that gives me negative x squared. Okay, because x times x is x squared. Okay, i got to do it again. x times a negative x is negative x squared. And I've got an x times a negative 1, which gives you a negative x. x times negative 1 again is another negative x. Okay, now, we have to do another x times all those again, so it's going to be the exact same thing. We can speed it up a little bit. You can see how it's matching up here, how they match up here, and how they match on this side. That's the way it should always be. So you see this matches that up there, and it matches that over there. Looks like we got a bunch of negatives. Okay, now we have to do a 1 times all those. So 1 times negative x, negative x, negative x. And we've got to put 1 times negative 1, negative 1. 1 times negative 1, negative 1. We're going to do another positive 1 times all those again, so it's going to be this again. So your answer would be, you've got negative 4x squared. Two x's times negative 2 ended up giving us four negatives here or x's and then we've got four negative x's down here so that's a total of eight negative x's okay and then we've got four negatives so you put minus four okay and that's for all the people that said distributed property is too easy, or they think it was too easy. Um, this will help you in high school.
and when we when we move on um, later on in the year I'll show you foil which is you multiply the first the outers the inners the lasts I can go ahead and show you it's pretty cool it's one of my favorite things to do so I really started loving algebra It's called foil. First, outer, inner, last. Okay, what it suggests is you multiply the first ones, which two a 2x times negative 2x is negative 4x squared. Outers, use the outer ones. Because you got to do 2x times that one, and you got to do 2x times that one. So 2x times negative 2. Got to put my square on there. So it gives me negative 4x. Enter. Because now we're going to do 2 times both of these. 2 times negative 2x is another negative 4x. Okay, last. You take the last two numbers and you multiply them. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. Now, this was the simplified one. So, the way we get the negative 8x on the inside, negative 4 plus negative 4, negative 8x. They won't teach that to you this year, but um, they will next year. And now you're going to complete the worksheet that goes with this. Um, instructional video.